Hey folks, I'm out in the chicken coop again. It's kind of cold, but I'm out here getting excited for some uh, building projects I have coming up for the chickens, some construction stuff um, over the next few weeks for some exciting reasons. And um, I'm gonna use the same material that I always use, which seems to be controversial. You know what I'm talking about? OSB wood. Why is it controversial? Why am I gonna continue to use it? in most cases, and maybe not use it in others. Uh, well, let's get into that. So I've used oriented strand board, otherwise known as OSB, for a lot of uh, projects around the house, around the chicken coop, around pretty much everything. Um, and the main reason for that is because I have a lot of it <laughs> and it's free. Uh, it's free because it's in my garage. I, it's easy to find for me to kind of scavenge for free and all that. But over the years that we've had chickens, as you get on forums or as I do, as I watch videos and read blogs, um, I see a lot of people saying that you should never use OSB for chickens because it's harmful to them, it's toxic, it's all this stuff, it could lead to you know, bad eggs, bad, bad meat, illness for them. Um, and I really had no idea about that until, of course, after I built a chicken coop out of it and after the chickens had been living in it and I started worrying that maybe I had built a death trap for my chickens. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure why people were saying it was so bad, so I decided to uh, dive into it a little bit especially before future projects, uh, to see if I needed to scrap the whole chicken house here that I built behind me and start over, because I certainly don't want to harm our chickens. I mean, we feed them organically. We let them free range as much as we can. It's snowy now, so it's a little bit hard, but even now they're, they're out scrapping a little bit outside of the chicken coop. We don't give them meds unless we absolutely have to for some reason, which we did one time with one chicken, and I'll make a video about that in the future. Uh, we really try and keep a very organic, healthy chicken coop. We don't even give them artificial light or artificial or uh, artificial heat in the winter. All natural. So when I hear OSB is harmful to them, it kind of made me wonder. So I looked into it. Side note, we have a neighbor's dog that seems to be incredibly angry at a squirrel right now, so I'm sorry if you hear that barking in the background. So I guess the first place I wanted to start in my research was figuring out exactly what is OSB. That's something that I guess I never really saw on my radar or something that I was going to research. But all these comments and, and uh, blog posts and everything were starting to make me wonder, what is OSB and why are people saying it's so harmful to chickens? So I looked into it. OSB stands for Oriented Strand Board, which completely makes sense when you look at it. And essentially it's a manufactured wood, like plywood or particle board or any of those, tack board. And uh, what they do is they take these strands of wood um, oriented in a certain way, they compress it, and then they put an adhesive on it, and they just keep layer by layer doing that until it's to whatever thickness it is that they're making it half inch or three quarter inch or whatever it is so that's the process of it being made where the controversy comes in i guess with chickens is the adhesive because um, most of the time that adhesive is uh is, is a formaldehyde based product and formaldehyde emits toxic fumes and that's where the problem with a lot of people using it for chicken stuff comes in. I certainly don't want my chickens exposed to a um, environment of toxic vapors, especially in a box that they're confined into at night, sleeping and breathing. So I wanted to research this for sure. I like the sound of the chickens way better than the sound of the dogs. The process of those vapors coming off of that adhesive is a process called off-gassing. And there's so many regulations that I was reading 
about how much off-gassing actually has to be done before it can even leave the manufacturer or if it's a foreign made one before it can even be imported here into the United States or in Canada and California is even more strict with it if you live there to where almost all of the off-gassing is completely done by the time it would ever even leave the factory and then you have the time that it gets to the store or wherever the time where you buy it the point is as time goes on that off-gassing gets less and less and less and less until it's just not there anymore it's just a piece of wood that's held together with um, an adhesive that's not putting off any vapors any longer so the lo the older the wood is the less vapors there are so that made me feel better about my coupe because the wood I have um, I got about a year before I built the coupe and I got it used from from a shipping crate and who knows how long that was there it was from work that I did I have a video on on how I built my coupe on a budget and, and, and acquired that wood so at this point it's four or five years old I'm not worried about it anymore and the OSB that I have in the garage is the same, so I'm not worried about any it anymore either. But one of the keys to using OSB is it's essentially non-toxic in a well-ventilated environment. This is outside, and as far as the chickens being inside, of course it's ventilated. In fact, I was reading that the off-gassing from the OSB is so much less of a concern than the actual ammonia rising from their own droppings. So that's a bigger concern. So if your coop is ventilated good enough to prevent the ammonia from affecting them, the ammonia that they're creating themselves, then it's also ventilating any off-gassing if there is any from the OSB. So I feel completely fine with it. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna use it because we have it. I didn't buy it. If I buy wood, I'll probably buy a hardier outdoor wood but this is free and I'm all about doing this on the budget because the more we can do on a budget, the more we can do. Uh, I guess another concern people might have is chickens pecking at the wood and breaking off some of that adhesive being that it's formaldehyde based. Uh, my chickens, they don't, they don't peck the walls. Now baby chicks, cause I'm gonna be making a brooder cause we're gonna be adding a couple chicks to our flock this year. They do tend to peck the walls at least my past experience has shown that, but um, their little baby pecks, they're not breaking anything off really, I, I don't think. I, I feel comfortable with it. But again, you raise your chickens the way that, that you feel comfortable doing. Everybody's got to do their own way of, of doing their chickens for what they feel best, but I'm fine with the OSB. The other thing is a lot of people say, as an alternative, it's better to use plywood or particle board so I researched those just to see if they were better. Well, plywood is um, kind of a similar process to OSB. OSB are, are the, the flakes of wood that are oriented. Plywood is actual sheets um, of veneer and they, they layer the grains like this over and over and over to the thickness they want. But guess what they use to adhere those planks or those plies together? They use a formaldehyde based adhesive. It's the same with all this manufactured wood. Basically, you can't get away from it unless you want to build your structure out of just straight milled wood or build them uh, a, a chicken coop log cabin, which honestly sounds awesome. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that someday. If you do it, please send me some videos or pictures of it because that sounds awesome. A chicken coop log cabin? I'm into that. But for now, it's OSB. And uh, that's the way it's just gonna be. My only other concern with using OSB is that it's outside and it's not exactly known as um, a hardy wood, at least as we have it uncovered sitting out here. It, it can deteriorate pretty fast. So, you know, I wasn't sure about it, but we have so much free stuff that if, if something starts to deteriorate, I just take it off and replace it. You know, if it's one of these walls, I just uns I can just unscrew it, put a new panel in. But like I said, I built this coop four years ago, and that OSB on the walls is holding up really well. Now I can't say the same 
for the OSB, for example, on the lid of their nesting box here. And it looks like one of our chickens get ready to go into it. Um, I do find that OSB that's uh, horizontal, it deteriorates quickly. And I just imagine it has to be because the moisture is not running off of it like it is on the side walls. You can tell the difference and actually the, the lid of the box is newer than the walls of the coop itself, but the, the coop's holding up great. But it's also covered by the overhang of the roof. And then the roof is slanted so it drains, but also we have shingles on it, so it's protected. But really the only problem we've had is this horizontal um, lid for the nesting box, which I think I'm going to replace with something not OSB. And also the ramp up in it's deteriorating and that's that's one of the things that's going to be replaced that's it's getting kind of bad it's actually um, kind of one of our priorities to fix kind of coming up here as well so all that said you'll hear things about osb and and how it's harmful for chickens in my research i just don't find it to necessarily be a concern um, and again i only use it because i have a stash of it that was free and cheap. Some of it I got, I scavenged, some of it's left over from a part of a renovation we did to our house because it's in our house too. You know, most houses are built out of it. The subfloor, the sheathing of the walls and the roof is usually OSB. So that's it, that's my thoughts on uh, OSB and, and uh, particle board and plywood and it's used for chickens. I think it's safe, but like I always say, you make your call for your chickens because that's what's most important. You have to raise your chickens the way you feel is best, not the way I feel is best, of course. Thank you for watching.